Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to be flashing over Jelly Bean uh, on the Galaxy S3. I'm going to be flashing over Li8, uh, that is the latest one as of the 18th of September 2012. As you can see I've done a full factory reset that's going into uh, backup and reset and doing a full factory reset. Uh, I am currently on Darky ROM um, which is based on LG8 4.0.4 and it's on Sire's kernel uh, 1.5.3 the reason I did a factory reset is to help it um, when um, when actually flashing the jelly bean ROM. Uh, what I'm going to do is after I flash over jelly bean ROM is also I'm going to do a full factory reset as well over there as well. So what I suggest is also always backing up your internal SD card. Uh, for example, this is the internal SD card that I've got all my stuff on, such as titanium backup and whatnot. Uh, I suggest all backing them up to your external SD card or to your PC, preferably your PC, uh, because just in case anything goes wrong. So right, so what we're going to do is turn off the phone, um, I'm actually going to go straight into download mode, uh, actually to, just to show you how to get into download mode, I'll do it myself, so we're going to power off the phone, and let it buzz, there yeah, it's just buzzed now, and uh, so you want to go down on the volume key, uh, home and power key at the same time you'll get with this warning and press continue as you can see my um, flash count is on 18 at the moment doesn't really matter but uh, there we go we're gonna do that and then we're gonna make sure Odin um, is open so Odin 3 is open and as it's open we're gonna plug in the phone into a PC and you can see over here it says COM7, it's going to be uh, accepted and it's going to be found, it's going to find your phone. Make sure all your drivers are installed on your phone and run Odin 3 as an administrator. So over here you can see you click on PDA. Uh, after you click on PDA you'll have to find the file and here's the file, it's the MD5 file. Press open and it'll launch the PDA file in there and all you want to do now is just press start. When you press start, um, I have always found that Odin 3 um, always does not respond. As you can see there, it will say not responding there. But just give it time, just give it about um, about 20, 30 seconds and it should, should do it. And usually the flashing process takes around uh, 2 to 3 minutes. So I'm going to get back to you guys after it has finished flashing. Remember, don't interrupt uh, Odin, or don't close it, just leave it. I know it says not responding, but there you go, there you go. It's just launched right there. Just let it do its thing, and obviously don't touch your phone or disconnect it from your computer. Right, so it's just finished, so we can unplug it to the PC. So here we go. This is JB. As you can see, it looks pretty nice looks a little bit different from what I was uh, what I was used to get rid of those seems pretty snappy I gotta say as you can say I'm on LI8 and you can see the jelly beans so we've got power saving mode still which is good get those off it says software update, unable to connect to network, that's fine, doesn't matter. Blocking mode, what is blocking mode? That's pretty cool, that's nice. It's a new feature that uh, wasn't there before. There are several features here which look uh, a little bit new, a little bit different, like lock screen over here. It seems to be on its own, uh, its own uh, setting right there. There's security as well, which is now a separate... Uh, separate from uh, what it was before we got motion controls like so and here we go okay that's cool now it's if you turn on motion these two come on but now if I turn it off everything goes off so that was uh, it's a different little bit different feature let's go development uh, options let's turn those on there we go and I'm gonna change these to 0.5 speeds up the, well makes it seem like it speeds up the phone a little bit so yeah let's see anything else which is new back on reset lock on that right battery seems to be 
pretty much identical display. Got LED indicator, which is a little bit different now. That's interesting. Voice recordings. LED lights up when you are uh, recording voice. That's uh, that's interesting. We can uh, get rid of those two. Well, for me, that is. Wallpaper screen mode. Right. Well, you got several several features there which weren't there before, um, and some things which um, are still present from the TouchWiz interface that we are used to on the Galaxy S3. So there we go. Do I like chicken? So you can see I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I found it. Um, I'm doing it over 3G at the moment. I haven't connected my Wi-Fi up. But uh, you can see it's... Uh, it is working fine and Google now does seem to be working let's uh, also go and go into settings go voice settings uh, speech output uh, there we go block offensive words we can get rid of that you can download offline there we go that's fine uh, phone search is what it would be searching as you can see I can get rid of them if I want to I can leave contacts on. There we go. Privacy and accounts. You can uh, check that. Location services, for example. Use GPS satellites. That's good. That's great. Right, well, you can see uh, Jelly Bean does work and it seems pretty fast. I'm obviously going to have to test it for a little while and um, see how it goes. I'm also going to put size kernels straight on it right now um, because I want to. Uh, there's two more things that I'm going to do just before I end this video is first check the CSC and secondly I'm actually going to perform a full factory reset anyway just to avoid any problems or any conflicts that might uh, still be there so first of all I'm going to check the CSC we're going to go star H272 star put your IM uh, EI number inside and finish it with H and I'm back well unfortunately it uh, it didn't work uh, my IEMI number does work, I just have to press um, the pound sign right there and it would come back. But uh, checking the CSC didn't work so I can't check what CSC I'm on. But I'm going to presume it's a UK one because it's a UK version and also because it's picked up that I'm on Virgin Network. So that means it's not on a Korean, um, Korean, uh, Korean one. Next I'm going to go into my uh, internal SD card you can see SD card 0, usually it said SD card on its own and you can still see all my things in there I'm going to do a full factory uh, reset factory data reset and reset device remember this uh, erases everything including sometimes things on the internal SD card that I'm going to go and see in just a second but basically this allows me to have a fresh install basically on um, Jelly Bean so as you can see it's just uh, booted up so there we go as you can see now I've uh, factory uh, reset it it's all um, on stock now and you can see all these icons that weren't there previously are now there go into apps so there you go as you can see it is updating and doing its things so everything is working which is uh, which is great uh, I'm just going to go into S Voice and disable the. Uh, disable the home key. Open via a home key. And get rid of these stuff. There we go. So now the home key has no lag and then I'm going to go back into development options and turn it on for starters and turn these to 0.5 right there we go everything fe feels snappy let's see how this looks like oh that's pretty cool you've got little uh, options over here Google open up Google opens up Google now straight away and that is pretty cool as you can see everything is very fast there we go 
2012 Olympic standings. Depends on your connection, your Wi-Fi connection, or whatnot, and how fast it's gonna, how fast it's gonna go. So as you can see, mine is kind of slow at the moment, but everything looks pretty good. The only thing I don't like so far is the bar. It's a little bit grey at the top. It's not black. It's not jet black. It's a little bit grey. So um, yeah, there we go. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this video has helped you uh, for flashing um, LI8. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, uh, do check out the firmware, do flash it, do let me know what, it, what you think about it. And yeah, take care guys, totally dubbed up. Bye bye.